introduction hello friends i am your friend sam and we are here to know about various organs of a human body let's know more about it objectives hello all can anybody tell me the names of various parts of our body great let's know more the main parts of our body a head face neck hands stomach and legs as we can see here that head is the uppermost part of the body we find hair present on the head next body part is our face the face has eyes nose tongue and ears below the face is the neck which joins head to the rest of the body it helps the head move towards right and left and up and down it is cylindrical in shape then we come on the hands that help us to hold things another body part is stomach it is a kind of a bag where all food that we eat gets stored for digestion and finally our legs that help us to stand straight walk and run and play now let's know about ears we have two ears on each side of our face the ears help us to hear sounds in our surroundings friends let's move on to the next sense organ we can smell very good and bad odors with the help of our nose we all like to eat chocolate because it's good in taste but which sense organ which is responsible for it that organ is our tongue which is helpful to chew swallow talk and sing we can also taste various foods with the help of our tongue friends the last sense organ that is our skin do you know the fact that without the skin we cannot feel anything actually skin holds all body organs in our body so it is a protective layer hair also protects our skin and organs which is present on the surface of the skin dear friends now i also want to tell you an important thing to keep our body clean and healthy we must take bath regularly because it removes germs from our body that's why our parents tell us to take bath daily summary in this course we've learned that how to identify hello kids you all must have visited a garden let us find out what happens when we are in a garden our eyes help us to see the beautiful flowers in the garden our nose helps us to smell the scent of flowers our ears help us to hear the melodious voice of the birds our tongue helps us to taste fruits and our skin helps us to feel the touch the five senses in our body help us to know the world around us objectives at the organ has its own specific functions the eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the five sense organs of our body these sense organs help us to feel the different things around us let us learn about them The first sense organ of our body is our eyes. All living creatures have a pair of eyes on their face. Eyes are the organs of sight. They help us view and identify different things around us. Do you know why we are not able to see objects when we enter a dark room? That is because light is required by our eyes. to make us view objects the second sense organ of our body is our ears we have a pair of ears on either side of our head 
ears are our organs for hearing. We can hear the sound of a ringing bell, a beeping car, or a ringing telephone with the help of our ears. Our ears help us to hear different sounds. The third sense organ of our body is our nose. We have one nose on our face. Nose is the organ of smell. It also helps us in breathing air. Do you know how we can differentiate and identify the smell of an agarbatti or a perfume? The nose helps us to identify the smell. The fourth sense organ of our body is our tongue. We have a tongue present inside our mouth. Tongue is the organ for taste. Tongue also helps us to speak properly. Do you know which part of our body helps us to identify the taste of yummy cake or a delicious dal? Tongue helps us to taste and identify the difference between a cake and a dal. The fifth sense organ of our body is skin. Skin is the organ for touch. It forms an outer covering of our body. Do you know which part of our body helps us to identify the difference between a soft pillow and a hard book? Skin helps us identify things by touch. Our body is made up of bones and muscles. Bones are the hard part of our body. Bones together form a skeleton which provides shape to our body. Bones also protect our body from external injuries. Muscles are the soft part of our body. Muscles are attached to the bones. Bones cannot move alone. Muscles attached to it helps in movement. Do you know why do we sometimes feel pain in our back, shoulders and legs? This happens due to incorrect posture of the body. Posture is the position in which we hold our body while sitting, standing or sleeping. A correct posture includes standing straight with no bending, sitting by keeping back straight without support and lying down with a pillow under our head.